So here we are. I don't know about all of you, but I didn't think we'd ever get to this point. I'll be honest. Planning graduation was equivalent to trying to hit a moving target while riding a horse backwards, blindfolded, with my hair on fire. That's what graduation preparation was like. It wasn't fun. But regardless, we're here to celebrate all of you. I'm so very proud of all of you. This is the time for you to shine, for your families to celebrate you, and for the, your community to honor you. Before I even get going, I just want to know how awesome you are. And you are probably the strongest individuals I've met in 33 years of teaching. So I wanted to put that out there before I go any further. We have gathered here today to celebrate your accomplishments of the past six years. I will try to be brief and to the point. I recognize that what we are doing here and at this time is the former part of what today is about. And I realize as well that it will be the balance of today holds to be the festive, celebratory, or fun part of your commencement. None of us here was accountable for the world that we were born into. I think one might say that only fate had a major role in this. You've lived, you've learned, and now you're graduating to the next passage of your lives. It's a true honor to share this stage with these wonderful speakers and wonderful educators. And it's an absolute honor to be here with you celebrating your tremendous accomplishments. <clears throat> Clearly though, uh, today's circumstances are anything but normal. And I think it's time that we accept the fact that yesterday's normal has passed. It's time we change our perspective. Growing up, you were taught that our country was the greatest on earth. You figured that to be a hero, you had to possess some transcendent power. And you were told that if you just waited until the end of your senior year, you'd find the best times of your life. Well, I'm sure by now you've noticed that those truths have been exposed, laying bare for us all a powerful reminder that there's nothing here that's permanent. And it was the curse of expectation that deceived us. See, it was our expectation that led us to believe that the events in our lives had to happen in a certain order, an order that suited our favor. And then when actuality failed to align with those expectations, we were left feeling hurt, confused. Fortunately, though, your expectations are also temporary, and your minds are resilient. You've proven that over these last few months. In fact, your minds are unbelievably malleable. And the sooner you can reshape the expectation that the experiences in your life need to happen in a certain order, the sooner you can begin to live through your heart. And you have to live through your heart. Because when tonight you walk across this stage, you're crossing the threshold into the unknown. A place that's crawling with inequity and injustice. A place that's begging for truth and leadership. But if you can find a way to listen to your heart, you'll also find a world that will allow you great opportunity. A world that has proven true heroism isn't limited by age or gender or race. And ladies and gentlemen, you are those heroes. You are those leaders. Each of you possess the power to change the world. And this fluxed state we find ourselves in has made it unmistakably clear. You can no longer wait for the best times of your life. You have to create them today. And so class of 2020, I'll ask for you one thing. I'll ask that you abandon your expectation and you let your heart lead you across this stage. And if you can do that, you will become the change our world so desperately needs. It's been an honor working with you all, and I wish you all the very best of luck. Congratulations. Really stop and think about all of the historic events that have happened in the last six months. Think about it.
and we're only halfway through. But you will forever be a part of that history. You entered the world in the wake of 9-11 and are graduating during this global pandemic. These events have forever changed you and shaped you. Through all of this, you've had to show grit and determination. Through the adversity, you have become more resilient. So remember, these lessons, when life is difficult and doors close, you have the grit, you have the determination, and you have the resiliency to get through it if you choose to. Because ultimately, it is up to you if you get up after being knocked down. That's on you. I came across a quote in the news and it really resonated with me. Look back on these events with a clarity of 2020 vision and recognize it as a beautiful beginning. How true is that? Do not dwell on what you've missed, but focus on some of the things that you have gained through this experience and from this experience. The things you have to overcome or have had to overcome and figure out through this pandemic, the grit, the determination, the resiliency you have required, you have acquired will help you get through some of the toughest times in your life because there will be tough times. We all learn and grow because of the lessons we learn through the toughest times. Remember to just be you. Be confident, be hardworking, be careful, be driven. Be forgiving, be creative, be motivated, be educated, be thoughtful, be kind, be good. Be unstoppable, be honest, be worthy, be polite, be strong, be open, be funny, be selfless, be humble, be, deter be determined, be resilient, and use that grit that you have inside of you to overcome and do great things. Be your best you, be better than you from yesterday. So congratulations to the class of 2020. You got this. You're on to great things. So congratulations.